Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be demonstrating an easier way to access your DJI Mini 3 ESC. They make it very complicated and, and very just difficult to even access the ESC to replace an arm, um, which is a very common thing that breaks on these drones. So it seems like they've done this to make it more difficult for the common person to be able to do this repair and even be able to access the ESC. So there's a couple of things you can do to access it. One being disassembling the entire drone and then accessing the ESC as the final component, which is just very time consuming and not efficient. So I found a much more efficient way that only requires taking out a couple components. Um, so here's what you have to do. So I recommend taking, you have to take the top shell off. Um, so you take your top shell off take your bottom shell off and so once you have your top and your bottom shell removed you can see on the aircraft here that it might be a little hard to see on camera but there is glue holding all the motor wires down so you have some glue right in here some glue right in here some glue back here and some glue back here you have to break those four glue pieces loose be very careful when you do it so you don't break your motor wires or hit a ribbon cable. So you have to break those four pieces of glue loose. Then once those are loose, flip your drone over and you're gonna have to remove your downward vision sensor. Once your downward vision sensor is removed, you're gonna have to remove the bracket that holds your downward vision sensor in place. So both of these components will be here like this. Let's get this in frame. So both of those components will be there like this. So you remove your downward, then you remove your bracket, and here we are. So we're looking at the ESC. You'll have two LED cables plugged into your ESC on the left and right side. You're gonna to wanna to remove those, unplug those. Once those are unplugged, you're gonna to wanna to break free the glue that holds these motor wires in place. There's one little dot of glue on each side. Break that loose, and then you can actually free up your motor wires and give yourself some room. Finally, you're gonna to wanna to disconnect the ESC ribbon cable from the ESC, and once that's all done, you can actually come from the top of your drone and squish and push the ESC from the top down. You can squish it down and provide yourself plenty of room to actually solder and use the ESC. Now you're gonna to have to be skilled with a soldering iron to do this because you're working in between plastic here, um, but you provide yourself ample amount of room to get in there and I will zoom out here, or zoom in rather, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So before the ESC sits flush with this board like that and it is impossible to actually get in there and solder without burning your frame. So what we did was create separation and then you actually create some distance by pushing it. Let me just do this real quick. You push it down from the top. And what that does is that provides you with enough room to actually get in there. Just remove your wire and solder and do what you have to do. So keep in mind, you will have to be very handy with a soldering iron. Um, and there is actually glue covering all these solder joints. So you're gonna to wanna to take a hot air station heat that glue up, peel it off, and then you can go ahead and solder. Um, so hope this helped you guys. This should be a solution to a lot of your issues with having to replace an arm on the Mini 3 and having to take the whole damn thing apart. So this is a simple solution to help you guys get that done faster and not have um, an entire drone taken apart just to replace an arm. So keep that in mind when you have to do this. Uh, if you want to send it to the professionals, let me handle it. Um, we'll be happy to do that and get you back in the air in no time. All right, I'll see you in the next video, you guys.